Okay guys, how y'all doing today? Um, today I'm going to show you how to remove the blade from your lawnmower, sharpen it, make sure it's balanced right, and then putting it back in. Okay, so here's my lawnmower here. First thing you need to do, which I've already done, um, you need to disconnect your spark plug. Mine's out because I'm going to be changing it, got a new spark plug and everything for it. But first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, you disconnect your spark plug. Secondly, what you want to do is, if you can see down here, I got a vice grip. You want to put that over the edge so that the blade will hit that. Let's see if I can show you here. So that the blade will hit that so that when you go to grab that nut right there and loosen it the blade will be locked in place and it's not going to turn and then you can get that thing loose and get it out so here's what we're going to try to do here i'm going to go down here put my wrench on that nut this one just happens to be a 5 8 5 8 nut. Now this is going to be very tight. This is going to be kind of tight. I might need to get a breaker bar on this, but let's see if I can't get this. your blade now this one really doesn't look all that bad still has a nice little edge on there the back side doesn't look bad at all it does not look bad at all I'm gonna give it a little sharpen anyway I'm gonna show you how to do that um, you want it to go down to a point like this a lot of people they'll grind that side and this side and make a little V that's not right you want the bottom side, the blade side, to be flat. And then you want the angle going down to that. This blade is actually in pretty good shape still. But I'm going to sharpen it anyway. Just to show you the process on how that's done. So we'll get to that right now. Okay guys, got my little grinder here. I'm just going to show you really quick. Like I said, this blade is not really all that bad. Not bad at all. But what I'm going to do, you only want to grind on this top side here. You never want to grind from the bottom. You want that to go down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use my finer um, wheel. If this was chewed up a little bit, I'd do the rough side first, get that down, and then I would hit the fine side. But since it's pretty good, I'm just going to go with the fine side, throw a couple passes over that, and should be good to go then. I'm going to do it at like a 45 degree angle. This ain't that bad to begin with. You want to do both sides the same. Watch that side, it gets a little hot. <laughs>
And there you go. That's basically it, guys. Got no burrs on the bottom side. You're good there. Now, the way you check it to see if it's balanced. You can do one of two ways. You can get a little balancing thing, or the easiest way to do it is put your finger right in the middle of the hole. And you basically want it to remain somewhat level. If it does, you're good. If it leans one way like that, or leans the other way like that, that means that side is heavy. Easiest way to do it, let's say if it was leaning like this, you know, if it was leaning that way, I would just go and take a little bit more off this blade on this side. And that will uh, balance it out to where you're balanced. If it's not balanced, you're going to get a little bit of a vibration and a wobble in there. But anyway, let's go back to the lawnmower. All right, guys, so now we're back to the lawnmower. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that the blade is turned past your uh, locking wrench there. Now, you want the flat side of the blade to be down towards the ground is how you want that. And the side that you just ground, you want up in the air. So, take your little chuck, pop it in there, make sure you got the flat side down, and basically, you're just going to screw it back in, and get that all the way in like so, and then you're just going to, you're going to want to tighten it down pretty good here. So I got the vice grips on the other side of the blade. I'm going to give it a good tighten here. You want to make sure that's good and tight so that it seats into that bracket there like that. And there we go. We're getting there. All right, guys. That's basically it. Got a nice sharp blade on there, cleaned off, everything good. Easy as that. If you like that video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, I got more like that on there. Uh, otherwise, later guys.